Well, I did one more, wouldn't you know it? And this one has the outside can is the um, the tall 50 or 45 ounce chicken broth can with uh, I think it's 16 3 8 inch holes. The inner can is a 20 ounce fruit can and it has 16 secondaries at the top, 5 30 seconds of an inch. And the primaries are 32, but 16 are on the bottom, on the underside of the can, and the other 16 are around the sides on the bottom. I was going to make those a quarter inch, which uh, they would have to be for the 5 to 1 ratio, but I decided to stop, and when I got to 5 30 seconds, the same as the secondaries. So basically, it's like a 2 to 1. And it's kind of breezy. It's hard to say, you know, if that's the only reason the flame's kind of jumpy, but um, I haven't seen any smoke yet. And it's fairly hot. It's putting out a good flame. Of course, it's a bright sunny day. I can't see how, if it's blue at all. I got two <laughs> pot stands on there, and they don't fit very well because windy. And if I go over here, then there's the sun's on it. But uh, it's putting out serious heat. We'll see how it goes. There's with no pot stands. A little more shade for the moment and uh, cuts down on the breeze. That's with one pot stand. Not blue like in the previous video or that one that uh, had almost a one to one. But I think it also matters what the total primary and secondary together are compared to the can sizes because um, theoretically this should be I would think a little blue it's clearer than a 5 to 1 flame but now I don't know whether to make it go 5 to 1 or not it depends on well, like I said if it smokes a lot when it's goes out I'll be thinking about enlarging the those, those primaries but I did put some of the holes on the bottom side of the can because I think that helps with burning the rest of the the coals because I noticed that the ones that don't burn them all the ones they were leaving unburnt were in the center because I and I only had primary holes around the outside of the can on the bottom and none on the bottom itself you know the flat bottom and uh, so this one I, I made sure I put some of the holes on there on the bottom so primaries are split evenly around the side of the bottom and under and uh, we'll see what that does with the coals when it burns out and hopefully it won't smoke Well, I w looked away for a little bit. It went out. And there was not any but a couple of little puffs of smoke. So I think the holes on the bottom of the can really make a difference as far as that goes. But I don't think this really burned a long time. Of course, I didn't put a lot of fuel in it. It might, or it, it you know, it probably burned half an hour. But I didn't see, you know, I didn't look away for very long. I did not see the flame seem to get, you know, weak and smaller toward the end like other ones do, which is kind of interesting. I mean, one minute we had the normal flame, the next minute it was go gone, and I don't know. We'll see how it does with the coals. 
coals have been there for half an hour. It looks like they're burning all the way across, which is what I wanted to see. Uh, still pretty hot, hot enough to cook a burger. And it's, you know, that's pretty good for half an hour after the flame went out. So far, so good. So it seems like this uh, 2 to 1 ratio with half the primaries on the very bottom of the can seems to be pretty good. I just, you know, I just don't know how to get a blue flame without a bunch of smoke. We'll check it again another half hour. Well, you can see there's still coals in there. It's good and hot yet, but looks to me like it's burning across pretty well. So having that holes on the bottom does help. What I'm going to do next is bump up the primaries. Right now it's about a 2 to 1 ratio to the secondary. I'm going to bump that up to 3 to 1, with, which I think is a 5 sixteenths hole. Here we are at 3 to 1 ratio. Flame is clearer. Probably blue. Hard to see in the daytime. Now I'm going to be afraid to bump it up to 4 to 1 because I already know the ashes burn pretty well. I increased all the primaries to 3 sixteenths. And I don't know, it's a pretty good looking flame. We have a little blue going on there, I think. doesn't like the heat or something that won't focus all the time. So, the big question is whether I should ever change this. I mean, if I got any blue at all, I'm happy. I'm afraid to mess with it. If it smokes at burnout, I'll be really disappointed. We're at 25 minutes or so. I'm starting to weaken some.
haven't seen much blue since it started. But it's a decent hot flame. I'm trying to decide whether to bump it up one more to four to one. I probably won't go any higher than that. Just because, you know, it works. Well, it's been almost 45 minutes, and that's still going, although it looks like it might go out pretty soon. Yeah. That's about to go. Well, I, yeah, I still see something swirling around in there. Not flame exactly, so. But if it's smoke, it's just staying there. It's not billowing out. That's pretty neat, whatever it is. You can see it a little easier on the camera than, than I can just looking at it. I think it stopped. And there was no smoke at all. No smoke the whole time. 45 minute burn. I bet those coals will last a while, but we'll see. So it's been 50 minutes. I have no doubt this will last at least a total of an hour burning the ash. I think 3 to 1 is a good ratio. You still can't quite put your hand down to the top of that is so hot.